Thank God for the common sense of British juries. And um, Paul Fisher, as a firearms officer, was under the most unimaginable pressure um, driving, uh, driving his vehicle at speed to the scene of a live terrorist attack nearly four years ago. He clearly, ma he clearly made some mistakes on that drive. The right answer would have been some warnings within the organisation, some retraining, some retesting to getting back, protecting the public. Um, and yet, here we are, four years later, when he's faced, him and his family have faced an imaginable pressure, having been pursued for that period of time by the IOPC and forced into a one-week Crown Court trial for dangerous driving. The jury have rightly acquitted him today. I can think of no other country where an officer rushing to the scene of a terrorist attack who makes a mistake would be handed and prosecuted over four years. The IOPC's pursuit of good officers like this, I see evidence day in and day out in my force of colleagues whose confidence to act in the most difficult circumstances is sapped by the fear of unfair scrutiny afterwards. And it's for that reason I'm immensely grateful to the Home Secretary and the Attorney General for the reviews they've commissioned to look at the balance of fair and proper police accountability.